Do you want to practice for exams but don't have access to a printer? Or maybe you simply don't want to print that large bundle of past papers. In this video, we're going to talk about how you can use a free note-taking app called Microsoft OneNote, along with free resources from the Student Shed, and practice for your exams in a paperless way. One of the cool things about going paperless is the savings. You can save on ink, you can also save on printing paper, and you can save money. And the process is pretty simple. Here's what you're going to need. You're going to need something to write on, like a tablet or an iPad, or maybe a smartphone. You're also going to need something to write with. And in this case, you can use a stylus or you can use your finger. You're also going to need an electronic version of the past paper, which you can get on the student shed. And you're also going to need the OneNote app. Now this app works on both Android and Apple devices. All right, let's now take a walkthrough of the OneNote app and see how it's done. Now that you've downloaded the OneNote app, go ahead and open it. You'll have to create a new notebook. To do that, go ahead and click on the arrow to the top left, the purple arrow, and the plus sign at the bottom to create a new notebook. I'm just going to call this Health Science Exam. And then tap Create. Once you've created a notebook, a section is automatically added along with an untitled page. You're now going to work on the untitled page. And if you look at the top, you'll notice that the items are grayed out. In order to be able to activate and use these items, you simply double tap on the screen. All right, so at the top menu, we have Home, Insert, Drawer, and View. We're going to need to insert the exam pass paper. You may have downloaded the past paper already from the student shed, but if you haven't, I'm going to quickly show you how to go ahead and do that. Go to the studentshed.com, free tools, and BJC or BGCSE past papers. Click on the subject you want and select the past paper, and it's automatically downloaded. Once it's downloaded, you can save it to your device. So we're back now in OneNote and under the item insert, we're going to select PDF. Go to where you save that past paper and open it up. Now that the past paper is downloaded, you can begin to answer it. Let's go to the top where it says draw and we're going to select one of the pens. Okay, I've chosen that one. You can zoom in and just go ahead and put in your answers. Now, sometimes with these exams, there are also structured questions. And if you don't want to write in your answer, you can also just type it in. And to do that, select text mode. And then you're going to have to click outside of the document in a free space, like right there. And then you just type in your answer. After you've typed in the answer, you'll have to drag it over to the slot and just tap somewhere on your screen. And there you have it. Your answer is there. Once you've completed answering the past paper, you're most likely going to want to send it to your teacher or your parent, depending on who's marking it. In this case, we're going to the export icon, which is at the very top right hand side. Click that and then you're given many different ways of sharing the document. You can invite people to view the notebook or you can create a link and then share that link with somebody or you can send a copy of this page as a PDF document through email or through another app. But what I like to do is save it to my files on my iPad and then send it as an attachment in an email. But you can share it however you like. So there you have it. You've seen now how you can go ahead and practice with these past papers without having to worry about spending money printing or even spending money for past papers. Everything's done free and also in a paperless manner. If you want more tips or resources to help you prepare for GLAD, BJC, or BGCSE, then go ahead and visit thestudentshed.com. There we have exam past paper answer keys, online BJC, BGCSE, and GLAD classes, and lots of resources to help you ace these exams. Until next time, happy learning.